Yeah, we can begin the draw. A quick reminder that there are 32 clubs in today's draw. Pot one represents the eight top-seeded teams, which, as you can see, include plenty of clubs with European experience, including last season's UEFA Champions League semi-finalist Villarreal, last season's UEFA Europa League semi-finalist West Ham United, and the team well known to this city, Istanbul, Bershak Shahir. Giorgio, if you can do the honours, please. Thank you very much. And uh, how can the competition be safer than in the hands, big hands of a goalkeeper? <laughs> so, Volkan, <laughs> the job is yours. Good luck. Good luck. Ready for the first name. Istanbul Başakşehir. And uh, as we are in Istanbul, we start with Istanbul Başakşehir. For Istanbul Başakşehir, we have Group A. So we can uh, start third participation in a group stage in four seasons. They've done uh, Europa League, they've done Champions League, and now Conference League. Oh. <laughs> okay. You see? <laughs> It's a tough job also for the goalkeeper. Yes. The wrist don't open. <laughs> Can I help? Yeah. <laughs> it does. Okay. <laughs> Just take it the right way. <laughs> we are professional, my friend. Uh, well. <laughs> West Ham United. West Ham United. West Ham United goes to Group B. So group B for West Ham. Don't worry, Volkan. It's much easier than safe penalty. Yes, my friend. West Ham United, uh, semi-finalist of Europa League last season. Villa Real. Villa Real. Villa Real can go into group uh, C. Yes, please. The winners of... Uh, 2021 UEFA uh, Europa League and the uh, semi finals of the Champions League last year. Just one step away from the final. Another team. AZ Altmar. Now we move uh, to the Netherlands with uh, AZ, and AZ can take a position in Group E. Please. Uh, just remind you that we are combining here conditions of Europa League and Conference League. In the last in the round of 16 of this competition last year, is Ed Alkmaar start this year in Group E. Ghent. Now from the Netherlands to, the, to Belgium, not a long trip. Ghent and Ghent can join Group F for KAA Ghent. Also in the round of 16 uh, last season, for the first edition of the UEFA Conference League. Partizan. FK Partizan. From Belgrade, the group D is the group of Partizan. You can see another one, and Partizan also made the round of 16 in the first ever Conference League. Two teams are left to be drawn. Slavia Prague. One is uh, Slavia Prague. So from where we are to where we will be in uh, the end of May, the final group G for Slavia Prague. Slavia Prague. They made it to the quarterfinals last year in this competition. And uh, to conclude the pot one, we have uh, Basel. Basel, FC Basel, and Basel can alloc be allocated to group H. And this uh, means that uh, we have covered all the groups. Thank you, Giorgio. Thank you, Volkan. Eight teams now drawn. Let's move straight on to pot two, which includes Italian side Fiorentina, CFR Cluj from Romania and from the Bundesliga in Germany, FC Köln. Tobias, over to you. Thank you, Adriano. Indeed, we are ready as well. Yep, ready. Good. A little shuffle. 
and then we start to see the first opponents we can get in the first groups. Oops. Have a look for his team. What two? Fiorentina. But they have Fiorentina. The UEFA Cup winners, winners in 1961. They join Group A together with Istanbul Bazaar. We keep on. The next team, FCSB, football club FCSB, they are the winners of 86 and they had the first appearance in the group stage since 2017-18 and they will join group B together with West Ham United. So a good start, keep on. Next. Hapoel Beersheba. Hapoel Beersheba FC from Israel. Their fourth UEFA Club competition group stage participation in seven seasons. They enter in Group C. Erster Fußball Club Köln, the first appearance in the group stage since 2017-18 and they join Group D together with FK Partizan. So half of the groups we have for Pot 2. Let's have a look at the remaining. This opens well. <laughs> Apollon Limassol. Apollon Limassol from Cyprus. Their first appearance as well in UEFA club competition since 2018-19. And they join Group E there together with AZ Alkmaar. So three more left. Let's see. Molde. Molde FK from Norway. Their second participation in the group stage of a UEFA competition in the three seasons. And they will enter Group F and here together with Ghent. So Ghent and Molde in Group F. We have two more left. Let's see who will enter in the two remaining groups. Cluj. CFR. Cluj, the champion from Romania, the second successive season in the conference league group stage. They go then to Group G together with Slavia Pra. And then we have one more left. Yep. We know who it is. We know where they should go. So let's confirm it with the last draw of pot two. Slovan Bratislava. SK Slovan Bratislava as well, second time in, in a row in the Conference League group stage. They go as expected into Group H together with FC Basel. That's it for Pot 2. Back to you. Thank you, Toby. So we're halfway through the draw now. Already some intriguing matches to look forward to in these groups. I think Group A, our host here, Istanbul Bersakse here against Fiorentina, certainly one to keep a close eye on there. Group G. Slavia Praha and CFR Cluj as well, but plenty more to come. It is time for pot three with teams like Nice from France, Anderlecht from Belgium and Sivaspor from here in Turkey. Giorgio, back over to you. Yes, we are ready to go ahead as the groups are taking shape. We are allocating now a third team. We start 
start with this one. Heart of Midlothian. The heart. Heart of Midlothian from Scotland in group A, together with Istanbul, Bejakshahir and Fiorentina. We have the heart back after a long period to UEFA competitions. Last time in group stage, it was in 2004, 2005. Need help? We help. Yeah. You are strong. Here we go. No, no, I'm not strong. I just follow the line. Vaduz. And, uh, and now FC Vaduz, first time of Liechtenstein. Congratulations. In a UEFA group stage uh, competition. So group E is the group of FC Vaduz together with uh, AZ Alkmaar and uh, Apollon Limassol. Shamrock Rovers. And this time from the Republic of Ireland, uh, Shamrock Rovers. Uh, group F uh, is the group of uh, Shamrock Rovers. Uh, their first appearance in the group stage uh, since 2011-2012. Anderlecht. Anderlecht. Uh, oh, the Belgian side of uh, RC Anderlecht. Group B for Anderlecht, where they find uh, West Ham United and uh, Football Club uh, FC SB. The winners of five European titles, uh, combining UEFA Cup, Cup Winners' Cup, and the UEFA Super Cup. Anderlecht back to competition. Austria Wien. And now we move to Austria Wien. Group C from, uh, for Austria, together with uh, Villarreal and uh, Apoel Beersheba. We have only three teams left. Austria Wien, back after five seasons to our competitions. Nice. OGC Nice. The group of uh, Nice is group D. They are together with Partizan and uh, Cologne for OGC Nice, twice finalists of the European Cup a uh, long time ago, 1957 and 1960. Sivaspor. Sivaspor from Turkey. Again, uh, Group G is the group of uh, Sivaspor. They will play against Slavia and against Cluj. Only one team is left. Uh, let's see the name of the team for Group H. Zalgiris. And this is Zalgiris Vilnius, which is taking Lithuania, their country, to a European group stage for the very first time. Congratulations also to Lithuania and to Zalgiris, of course, together with Basel and Slovan Bratislava in Group H. Lovely stuff. Well, that completes pot three. Three of the four teams in each group have now been drawn and there's already some standout matches. Let's take a look at Group B. West Ham United and Football Club FCSB were joined there by Anderlecht. Group D, FK Partizan, FC Köln and Nice. One more pot to go, though. Let's move on now to our final pot. And it features five clubs making their UEFA club competition group stage debut, including SC Punic from Armenia, RFS from Latvia and Balkani from Kosovo. Tobias, back to you. Thank you, Adriano. And we are ready again. Yep. So okay. let's start. Let's see which teams will close the groups from pot four and then we will see how the setup for the new season will be. RFS. RFS from Latvia, the champion, their first appearance in a group stage of an UEFA competition. And they join in Group A, together with Istanbul, Bajak Shkir, Fiorentina and Heart of Mithilosian, to close Group A. We keep on. Let's see, it opens. 
Silkeborg. Silkeborg EF from Denmark. The first season in UEFA club competition since 2001-2002. And they will enter in Group B together with West Ham, Football Club FCSB and ASC Anderlecht. Another exciting group closed here in Group B. Keep on and see which team will be next. Dnipro. Dnipro minus one from Ukraine. Their first season in an UEFA club competition as well. They join Group E here together with AZ Alkmaar, Apollo Limassol and FC Vaduz. And therefore Group E closed as well. Keep on. Lech Poznan. Lech Poznan from Poland, the champion from Poland, their second participation in, Swiss, in the last three seasons. And they join Group C here together with Villarreal, Hapuel, Bershawa, and FK Austria. Wien from Austria. So Group C closed as well, halfway through. Let's see. Next, the remaining open groups. Jura Gardens. Jura Gardens EF from Sweden. Quarterfinals in the first edition in 1955-56. 56, and they will join in Group F here together with Ghent, Molde and Schaumburg Rovers. So Group F closed as well. And we carry on. Let's see the remaining teams and where they will be drawn. Balkani. Balkani, the first time for Kosovo in a group stage um, in a, with a club competition and also, of course also their first season. And we will, they will be joined in Group G together with Slavia Pra, Cluj and Sivaspor. So two more left. All the remaining groups are clear. Group D and Group H still open. Let's see. FC Punic. FC Punic from Armenia. Also their first appearance in a group stage of an UEFA club competition and they will join Group H. Therefore, together with Basel, Slovan Bratislava and Zalgiris Vilnius. So, one more left. Last. We know who. <laughs> we know where they would go. Let's confirm it. FC Slovatsko. FC Slovatsko from Czech Republic, the cup winner, and also their first appearance in, an UEFA, in a group stage of an UEFA club competition. And they obviously go in Group D. So they're together with Partizan, Cologne, and Nice. And therefore, we have all the groups. <coughs> and back to you. Fantastic, Toby. Thank you. So there we have it. We now know all the groups in this year's UEFA Europa Conference League for the group stage. Let's take another look at them now for confirmation. We'll start with Group A. Istanbul, Bashak Sehir, Fiorentina, Heart of Midlothian and RFS. Group B, West Ham United, Football Club, FCSB, Anderlecht and Silkeborg. Group C, Villarreal, Hapuel Beersheva, Austria Wien and Lech Poznan. In Group D, FK Partizan, FC Köln, Nice and Slovatsko. Turning the page now to Group E, AZ Alkmaar, Apollon, Limassol, FC Vaduz and Dnipro. Group F, KAA Ghent, Molde, Shamrock Rovers and Jorgurden. Group G, Slavia Praha, CFR Cluj, Sivaspor and Balkani. And finally, Group H, FC Basel, Slovan Bratislava, Jalgiris and FC Punic. Many thanks to our special guest today, Volkan Demidel. Thank you for joining us. Vladimir Smitsa, our final ambassador. And uh, Toby and uh, Giorgio, thank you as always. Great job. Well, the UEFA Europa Conference League group stage kicks off on Thursday, the 8th of September. And may I take this opportunity to wish the very best of luck to all of the clubs involved.
Here's to an exciting second season of UEFA Europa Conference League football. From all of us here in Istanbul, goodbye and thank you for watching.